Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the Man at Arms into Scouts build order. So if you enjoy Age of Empires 2 content, you're looking to improve at the game, or you just want to learn build orders, then start now by subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon to be notified of any further uploads. Okay, so the first thing you do, standard start, make two hazards with your starting villages and then send them over to Sheep. And any new villages that come out of your town centre will also go to Sheep until you've got a total of six on the Sheep. So this is one that I've found, well, I've not really been able to find any build orders for this one, so I've kind of um, had to sort of make this one up a little bit. So, not sure whether there'll be a more efficient way of doing it, but it seems to work okay. I'm sure one of the higher level players will tell me if it could be uh, more efficient. But uh, now we've got the six on sheep, we're going to send them. Uh, the next four villages will come out and go to the wood with a lumber camp. So at this point just keep scouting your map. You want to try and find your resources as soon as you can. Uh, so that includes your starting sheep, which I did find. Includes your boar. And uh, we've only found one boar at the moment, so this is why we're using this sheep here to do some scouting as well. And uh, just making sure you find where all your golds are and your stone piles really. Uh, so it's actually quite a decent map to be fair. Got all the resources at the back here. Oops. <laughs> okay, so I've just got one more to come out to the wood. And then we'll uh, be sending one more after that to lure the first ball. Which is going to be over here. So we're going to take that one first. Uh, the reason being it's sort of the furthest for, um, forward out of the two and it just means that it's a bit more vulnerable to being stolen from the uh, opponent I'm sure we've all had games where the opponent comes down with their scout hits it a couple of times and runs off steals your ball so the next villager to come out is going to go over here and make uh, two houses and then the next village to come out is going to go to the berries so it's going to actually be the next four villages are going to come out and go to berries so once this village is done making the houses, they're going to go to berries as well. So we're going to have five on berries. So quite often this is a pretty decent strategy to use. It's certainly one that uh, pro players tend to use over going for a, a straight uh, scout rush. The reason being sort of man at arms or drush play is a lot more... Um, I suppose it's just a lot more used nowadays uh, because the meta's changed. We need to be sort of getting on the attack and uh, delaying the opponent from walling up. So at this point, send a villager from your existing boar over to lure the second boar. Then your final villager is going to come out and go to the berries. So then your next two villagers that come out are going to go to the boar as well, which will give us a total of 10 on boar. No, it won't. Totally nine on board. <laughs> you just went wandering off. Um, so yeah, at this point, just keep scouting around the enemy base, as you can see on the minimap. We've found where the enemy is, so just need to scout, find where all these resources are, so that we know when to uh, uh, where to attack when the time comes. So next village to come out is going to go up and make a barracks, and then the next two after that are going to go to gold. And then we're going to research Loom. And then we'll be uh, on the way up to the uh, Fuel Age after that. So, um, yeah, he's going to make the barracks, or well, she's going to make the barracks, and then make a house afterwards, and then she's going to go to wood. Okay, it helps if I uh, change my gather points. <laughs> so, you should be going to gold, which is where they're going now. So, with these boar villagers, just um, split them out over onto the, uh, onto the sheep there. So they can start collecting the sheep. So yeah, what was I saying? The um, this this strategy then it's, it seems to be more preferred because the the current meta is that uh, you are um, 
wanting to wall up pretty quickly. So just getting in there a little bit earlier with uh, an attack uh, will hopefully just prevent them from being fully walled uh, by the time your scouts come in. Okay, so now um, we're on the way up to the food village. We're going to take five villagers from the food and send them over to wood with a lumber camp. And then those remaining four are just going to stay there collecting from the sheep. At this point we want to be making militia. We need three militia from the barracks. And then once you've got a total of 40 gold saved up in the bank, we've got 31 now so I could probably have uh, dropped some gold off. No, not quite. Um, once you've got 40 in the bank, like we have now, so I did drop it off. Um, you can send those villagers over to berries because we don't need gold at the moment but uh, food will be quite uh, important so with these militia we're going to send those forward now make them join up with the scout and then uh, you'll have the militia and the scout on the attack at the enemy resources so I found where the wood lines are but that's pretty much it so pretty bad scouting to be fair but there must be something around here so we're going to go up there and have a little look but now a few ladies come in we want to immediately research mana arms upgrade and double bit axe from the lumber camp and the new villages that come out will go over to the wood so as you can see we um onto the straggler trees so you can see we've got quite a bit of wood banked up that's because we want to make a stable pretty soon uh, but once those sheep are finished we're going to send them over to the straggler trees as well ideally we want to look at um, getting some farms down now don't want too many just a couple uh, because we want to research horse collar so we need horse collar really before we start getting loads of farms down but at this point now we've got men at arms just go onto the resources and keep attacking the enemy and uh, just causing as much of a disruption as you can so we're gonna have three farms down Horse collar is on its way up, so there'll only be two that won't be affected by it. And from this point onwards, it's just a case of getting farms down and trying to get a, a good economy going. So as you can see, all that wood that we did have banked up, we're now placed down for uh, for farms. Now that we know horse collar is in, so that won't help us immediately, but it will help us in the long run, uh, just because we won't have to replace the farms as often which means that uh, we'll have a little bit of a uh, wood saving which will be which will be nice try not to get housed like I have um, but at this point yeah just keep going in just keep attacking uh, obviously they're focusing on the economy at that point but, but yeah try not to let them wander off into the town center there um, so yeah in terms of the economy just keep making farms uh, once you're Berries have run out, send uh, five of them over to gold and make two farms with uh, two of the other ones. And at this point we just want to keep making uh, cavalry scouts. So you probably want three or four new scouts just to join up with the rest of your army who are going around causing um, a bit of havoc still. So it does take a, quite a bit of micro in to do, uh, to be effective with this. So um, you've got to concentrate on your, on your economy and getting your build order right and and also micro in the uh, the men at arms and the scouts so I think this is why a lot of lower players tend to just go for a straight um, archer rush or a straight scout rush because it's quite difficult to certainly at the lower levels it's difficult to, to manage an economy and uh, micro some army so that's the next scout that's come out so those three scouts are going to go and support the rest of the army and again we're just making more and more uh, farms so we do have 15 at this point so pretty soon we're going to be looking at researching wheelbarrow so I think we're going to just wait for one more to come out so uh, perhaps it's a little bit later than 15 but it um, doesn't really matter too much so wheelbarrow is coming in now and uh, from this point onwards it's just a case of keep um, attacking the enemy causing as much damage as you can keep getting farms down uh, depending on what your game plan is going forward if you're going to transition into knights you may want to um, research the mining upgrade and also get a couple more um, villages on gold there just so that by the time you hit the castle age you're going to be um, quite well equipped to go with the uh, with the knights into a, a good rush but at this point yeah just keep 
going around, keep attacking, picking off villagers where you can, getting that, uh, getting that lead that you need to. And then, uh, yeah, it's pretty much a case of just keep focusing now on booming your economy and uh, causing as much damage as you can and a distraction with your troops as uh, as possible so that's it guys thanks ever so much for joining me today if you did enjoy this one and you want to see more build orders and subscribe to the channel but uh, i shall see you on the next one